Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So over the last couple of days, I've been seeing tons of different reports about a WebKit vulnerability that seems to affect some of the latest and greatest PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 system software. I thought that I would take a look and let you know what I found so far. So first off, the exploit URL can obviously be found over here on Echo Stretch's site with ES7 and 1.site with test.html. Now what I did was I went ahead and I made this tweet right here showing the source code of that page. And in this, I put the proof of concept source code for the new WebKit vulnerability that seems to affect newer system software updates for the PS4 and the 5. This displays a 1 in the browser, and the line that creates that is just right here on line number 10. Now, keep in mind that this actually has been around since at least September the 22nd, 2022, when it was reported over here on the Chromium blog as Project Zero. So what it says right here, it says, issue 2362 WebKit use after free of render math ML token in CSS cross fade value. And what they say here is, is that the CSS image generator value keeps a hashed counted set of clients of the image. The render math ML token object is one of these clients. When the render math ML token object is free, I think it should be removed from the client via the render element, but this isn't occurring. CSS crossfade value will then iterate through the client list, which includes the dangling pointer to the render math ML token object, thus causing the use after free. Now, if you're wondering what use after free is, well, there's a great little definition that makes it very simple over here on this encyclopedia. What it says here is that use after free is a vulnerability related to the incorrect use of dynamic memory during program operation. If after freeing a memory location, a program does not clear the pointer to that memory, an attacker can use the error to hack the program. Now keep in mind that use after free is currently right now how we have a number of different exploits in particular, the one for the PlayStation 5, which is the WebKit vulnerability. So for example, here is the IPv6 kernel exploit that we all know and love from SpectreDev or Cryptogenic. And if you scroll down into this, you can see right here that this repo contains an experimental WebKit ROP implementation of a PS5 kernel exploit based on the flow's IPv6 use after free, which was reported over here on Hacker One. So the main thing that I'm just trying to kind of get across right now is that use after free has been used in a couple of different exploits, or actually a lot of different exploits for the PlayStation, and this one is no different. Now, as far as the affected systems go, Control Execute put right here, it says, so this WebKit bug seems to work at least 2.50 to 6.02 on a PlayStation 5. Also works from 8.00 to 10.01. Every report shows a one. So if you do see a one, that that means that your web browser is vulnerable. Now, obviously I am using one of the latest versions of Chromium. I know it's saying right here to update but at least with the current version that I'm running right here, as you can see, 
this one is up to date because I do not see a one right here. Why is this stopping at 6.02? I think right now it's because we don't have people that has tested it yet on some of the later firmware versions. So for example, PS5 6.50 just released. And in that one, obviously we would be interested to see what the results are on that. So if you do have a completely up-to-date PS5, let me know down in the comments, are you seeing a one show up on your screen? Now, if we go back to the original issue that was submitted, here is the proof of concept code. And this is the exact same code that we're seeing that everybody is hosting and putting out there right now. Obviously, you could come in here and maybe pick the first couple of characters. And you could, of course, go ahead and view the source code. And what you'll find is, is that everybody is using the same sort of proof of concept code that was originally released. Obviously, nobody's claiming this as their own. I just wanted to state the code that you're seeing everywhere is based off of this code that came out on September the 22nd, 2022. So like everything, I believe it would only be best to go ahead and try it on a couple of systems. I'm going to try it on one of my PlayStation 5s. Keep in mind, I only have a 3.20 and a 4.03 PlayStation 5. So I do not, unfortunately, have a PS5 right now that's on the latest firmware. But I'm going to just try it just for fun over on a 3.20 system. Okay, so I'm heading to ES7 and 1.site and then test.html, and we're going to press done, and we're going to submit. And there we go. We can see the one showing up in the screen. Now, again, this is a 3.20 system, so I can come in here to system console information. This is a 3.20 system. Now, I want to switch over to a completely updated PlayStation 4 running 10.01. Okay, so here is actually a different site. I have a PS4 that's actually signed in to the PlayStation Network here. Yes, it's uh, kind of amazing to see a PS4 that's actually signed in to the PlayStation Network. So if I go over here to System and then System Information, obviously right here I am on 10.01. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the web browser and I'll go to es 7 and slash test.html and I'm going to press go here and it does show a one. So that is very, very good news at least in my opinion. So will anything come out of this? I really don't know. Obviously, all of the links that you see right here in my web browser, I'll include those into the description where you can take a look at this yourself. Anyways, I hope this video helped inform you a little bit. Maybe you learned something out of it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate you sticking around with me on this amazing and fun console hardware hacking, software hacking journey that I'm on. I'll talk to you on the next one. Michael.